The crankcase breather has many parts. The pipe to the valve cover, indicated by the green arrow, the crankcase breather, yellow arrow, the drain hose, purple arrow, the pipe to the intake manifold, blue arrow, the vacuum hose to the air intake pipe, red arrow, begin by disconnecting the battery negative cable. You will also need to remove the engine covers and the intake manifold. Please see the link at the end of this video to our website for videos and articles on how to do those procedures. Working at the rear bottom of the plenum on the intake manifold, squeeze the crankcase breather hose release collar and remove it from the intake manifold, as indicated by the green arrows. Since I do not reuse these parts, I take a pick or a flathead screwdriver and break the retaining collar. Then pull the pipe off and remove any remaining piece of pipe from the intake manifold. Alternately, you can squeeze the plastic spring collar and then pull off to remove. Next, working at the rear of the intake manifold, there is a junction block of connectors for the crankcase breather valve heaters. You already disconnected two of the connectors at the junction when removing the intake manifold. Green arrows. Disconnect the remaining two electrical connectors as indicated by the green arrows. Working at the crankcase breather valve, remove the three torque fasteners as indicated by the green arrows, then remove the crankcase breather valve from the intake manifold. Working at the engine oil dipstick tube, remove the crankcase valve drain hose. Since I do not reuse these parts, I take a pick or flathead screwdriver and break the retaining collar. Then pull the pipe off and remove any remaining pieces from the dipstick tube. Alternately, you can squeeze the release tabs and pull them off to remove. I find it hard to fit my hand in the available area. Before installing the new crankcase breather valve, clean any oil residue from inside the intake manifold and the surrounding area. If needed, remove the throttle body to access inside the intake manifold. See the link at the end of this video to a tech article on our website. Install the crankcase breather valve and tighten the fasteners. Install the new drain hose to the bottom of the crankcase breather valve. Next, install the crankcase breather hose to the breather valve. Then install the intake connection pipe to the breather valve. Listen for an audible click when you install the hoses. Next, install the dipstick tube drain hose to the dipstick tube. Reinstall the intake manifold. During the intake installation, you will install the vacuum hose and breather hose to the valve cover. When complete, double check all the routing. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.